Hi folks, I'm Jeff Goodman and I teach in the Department of Curriculum and Instruction, but I also do science presentations for school groups who are coming to campus. And I could really use your help if you're willing to help out when the kids are on campus. Now, some of you might be saying, well, I'm not going to teach science, you know, and I, I don't need to, you know, do that. But the fact is that it's an amazing opportunity to see how kids pay attention. And that's useful to any teacher, right? Uh, so, you know, when I throw this ball up and start talking to kids about, you know, well, what do you notice happening with this ball? Or when I show them my special stretchy spring, and I'm saying, you know, how could it be that this spring keeps stretching and stretching? And we start to puzzle out like the mystery of this spring. Or when I have them look at a cup of water and then all of a sudden realize that it's filled with little balls that are becoming invisible when they drop into the water. You start to notice what it is about human attention that connects all of us and whether you're going to be a social studies teacher or a special ed teacher or you're going to be a phys ed teacher or whatever, your knowledge of how people pay attention is going to be helpful to you. So that's something that's useful to you. It's also just a really good feeling to join us and help out, right? You're with kids and you're um, able to see the smiles on their faces um, when they you know, put on the rainbow glasses. Now this looks really cool to me, but the problem is you can't see it. Let me try this. See now, see that? Now it's probably not as cool as looking at the lights, but still, yeah, like that. So um, I think that it doesn't have to be a big deal. You come to one training with me. We talk about the kinds of experiences that you you might do in a breakout group. Typically, I'll do a maybe uh, hour long piece and then the last 15 minutes will be breakout groups with various college students leading groups of say eight uh, students in a in an activity and um, I'll teach you how to do those I'll talk you through how to answer questions and ask questions of the students and in fact that's another great benefit is you're going to get some practice asking open-ended questions you don't have to know anything about science because open-ended questions are useful in any teaching situation, even when you don't know the answer, the great teacher is an enthusiasm engineer. They know how putting on a chicken mask gets kids' attention. And then how to use that attention to motivate enthusiasm, spirit inside, and theos, enthusiasm for the kinds of learning that you want them to do in any subject area. So come join us and I'll see you around.